What you guys, how you doing? So uh, today, well look where I am, I'm in the Space Engineers trailer, how cool is that? I've waited so long for this and I'm finally going to get a look around. So uh, if you want you can join me and we can go and see what this is all about. So let's begin the tour. So as you can see there's a large solar array over here and uh, it appears to be pretty shaky but I assume that's just a bug. So now if we head towards the little runway and you'll see a massive blaster at the back, well it's not that big, and uh, basically I can't see any buttons so I'm just going to grind my way through it using the grinder. As you can see there's nothing here at all, it's all sort of superficial in a way and you'll see this in several areas of the base. Uh, obviously Keen wanted to sort of bash out their trailer and they didn't really need the base to be 100% functional as long as it looked 100% functional for the video so they just did the, obviously the, the front of the base. I personally think it is actually pretty smart though because it means I get to finish the base myself so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay so now let's continue the tour and we're going to go into the main hangar and there's quite a bit to see in here actually so as you can see it's quite a cosy looking hangar and a couple of ships in there, you've got a couple of fighter ships one appears to be pretty badly damaged so yeah we'll sort of come to that in a minute there's like several doors around the perimeter and if you open them all you'll see most of them sort of look like this they don't really go anywhere at all of course you can add it in yourself and drill it out but um, yeah a few doors do actually reveal a few things so if we go through this one you can see there is actually a sort of conveyor system and a massive storage container that's obviously to provide lots of resources for the uh, welding machine or whatever and if you drill through another of the doors you come to this nice little uh, viewing platform here and you can see there's a few windows over the other side as well okay so now I'm going to show you the welding machine thing and it's good you know if you if you're in battle and you get badly damaged you can obviously fly the ship back here if it's possible and fix her up uh, it doesn't work perfectly so you might have to fly up a bit yourself to finish it here's this massive blaster at the back so I'm going to grind my way through this and as you can see it doesn't function so you know alarm bell should be ringing again and again it's completely empty so there's more scope for the customization however this front door does work and it's interesting that there is actually space for another blast door sort of on the inside you can't really see that I'll show you a different angle in a minute but um, yeah they've only included one of the doors so I'm going to be adding a second one myself which is going to be pretty cool so I'm going to grind my way into this area here sort of behind the control tower and yep see this is the, the blast door the front one this is where it sort of goes as you can see there is like a big gap here where the second blast door should go yep yeah, there we go that's where it should be so I'm going to add a piston there later on I expect not in this video uh, so if you go through these doors you'll come out in the control sort of tower the station and uh, yep yeah, there is actually a way in you can actually get into the station without making a mess so there you go I'll probably put a window there at some point so I can make it airtight and I can add oxygen later on. So here we go, we've got well spectacular views to be honest. You can see all the ships outside. You've got a health station there, a random seat. There we go, that's a great view looking over the base and the main hangar door. So if we go through this door, as you can see there's absolutely nothing to be seen apart from the side of the hangar door, the blast door. So uh, yeah, I'll probably just take that out if you don't need it. So here we go back into this section here behind the uh, main hangar and there's like this little secret passageway here and as you can see we're a bit higher now so you get a higher view sort of looking out over the main hangar. You've got a number of like pretty neat windows and you have this door at the end um, and as you can see it just leads to nowhere. I'm guessing you can sort of add another hangar behind because you've got that fake well that dummy blast door. So you can add a real blast door and you can extend this sort of high walkway and you make it look pretty awesome. I think it just looks really smart actually personally so I'm going to probably link that up myself properly when I have the time. Okay so now if we go back outside into space and uh, let's take a look at some of the features of the exterior. So here we have quite a few storage containers and we have this sort of grinding thing on the outside so you could use this to offload all your resources or you could refuel a ship so now I'll show you the turrets you've probably seen them in the trailer so basically what it is it's a piston that controls the turret and then there's just a rotor that swings a blast door shut sort of over it but you can only use it a couple of times because it damages the armor I'll just show you the dents so obviously again it's designed to be pretty superficial and not 
designed to actually work and defend your base day in day out so that's something I'll be looking to upgrade so I hope you've enjoyed this tour uh, of course you can find this map on the workshop so you can tour this yourself so um, I guess I'll catch you guys later take care whoa Ow.